what's going on everybody here welcome back to some more railroads online i'm addicted i am addicted to this game i love the trains i love the building i love it so last episode we got our loop completed to the logging camp right logging camp yes so we got the loop completed to the logging camp so today we are going to purchase some rail cars we're going to try to make some money and we're going to see how well this goes uh probably fix some track along the way you know how it is basically track fixing is an ever green adventure like we're always doing it um and then i would like to see what the deal is with the sawmill and kind of go from there too like like do we go to logging camp then sawmill and then can we sell the planks and then um i think the smelter i'm trying to figure out what the next step is i mean we have the oil field we have oil field ironworks refinery and then up top we have the smelter so like and then iron or mine so like i feel like we need the iron ore to go to the smelter to get smelted into probably like some iron ingots or something like that and then take into the iron works or the refinery i don't even know i really don't even know at this point but we're gonna take one thing at a time one step we're gonna buy some cars um i don't exactly know let's just go ahead and let's see what happens here like um okay so flat car i'm gonna order another one of those uh where is it okay so it's over there so in order for me to hook onto these lines like i want to we're gonna have to have a turntable in here yeah we need to get a turntable going because i need to bring this around back actually no i can bring this around back it in grab it And then if I go this way, turn, I can back in, grab this cart, pull forward, and I could back it in over here. But then I'd have to do like an entire loop over around in order to get turned around. Okay, so yes, a, a turntable might be necessary let's go ahead and, okay let's go let's go check out this cart here now if i order another one does it place it next to it or does it place it so i have 846 dollars let's go ahead and order another one let's see what happens here okay so order oh it just places it right next to it awesome okay how much money do i have now 546 let's do another one shall we and order there's oh gosh i put it on that track now <laughs> okay so now i'm officially broke and i can't afford it anymore so let's get a turntable going um i think we're gonna end up having storage in here for these cars so i'm thinking maybe a turntable maybe off to this side or how much room do we have in here because the turntable is also going to be where we store our other locomotives so oh actually right in here this might be a good spot if we could get a turntable like right in here and then we could have we could have locomotive storage like right here that could be kind of cool i could dig that i could do that okay so let's do that let's go ahead and let's get our demolish out here and let's see how close can we get let's get this one and that one out of here let's grab a rail let's grab a switch right um i want to link to that Ooh. Mm, you know what that might that might not really work how i want it to i don't think we're gonna do that yeah i'm not actually a fan of that um we might actually let's throw it on this side because this side right here is going to be where we go well yeah it is this side right here is where we're going to be going to to drop off cars and then like i said we're probably going to actually i might actually throw another switch right here bring it this way out to a yard right there so a turntable off to this side might be ideal okay so let's do that instead let's get up here and let's go ahead and pop these off and then let's grab our switch left like that and then I need to demolish this guy right there. Okay. And then, oh, actually, there's a there's actually a piece of track right here, too, that's still in the way. Uh, let's see. Carefully grab that. No! Darn it. I'm going to have to redo that now. 
there we go okay so there's our switch left uh and then let's go ahead and get some groundwork in here variable groundwork we're just gonna grab we're just gonna grab from like right here and kind of follow it out this way like this and then we're gonna kind of go ahead and angle it a little bit Okay, so something like that. And then that's going to take us to our turntable. And then from there, we can throw additional rails on, I believe. I'm actually kind of curious to see how the turntable actually functions here. All right, so there's that line coming out this way. So facilities... No, it's not a facility. Bridges, groundwork, locomotives, rails. Turntable. Okay, turntable one, turntable two. We're going to use turntable one. Okay, now does this link to that? Oh, that actually worked out pretty good. Well, that was pretty easy. Okay, so now from there, uh, we'll go ahead and do some logging here. Let's get a few of these trees out of the way. Okay, so here's our turntable. Now, uh, let's grab a rail, and can we link off of this side right here? No. Now, do I need to run groundwork, maybe? Groundwork, variable grade. So if I grab this, and I just run it basically straight out here like that, will that allow me to get, will it allow me to link to this? It won't. Interesting. Okay, so that gap is too big. So how do we get this to work? Like, I feel like that gap is too big. How close is it on this side? Well, it's actually not super close. Actually, what is the deck? Three foot rail deck. Ooh, that looks super fancy. I think that's for bridges, though. I think. I'm not actually sure how we're supposed to hook this up, because I need to put I need to put a track going off right here, so if we wanted to park our locomotive, we could. Hmm. Okay, so there we go. That one actually has a decent-sized little gap in it, so click that. Actually, I'm just going to hit Alt so it goes nice and straight. And so as soon as you do the Alt, the click, the, the snapping part, that's when things kind of get a little wonky with placing the track down. If you free place it, it seems to place really good. Okay, so there's that. Now, from there, we're going to want, like, multiple parking spots, but we're not going to worry about that right now. So we have that. That's good. Mm hmm. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's unhook this guy. Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to leave this hooked up. We're going to go around, back in, connect up those carts, back in, connect up the last cart. We're doing this. This is going to be, oh my gosh, I'm super excited. Okay, so we need some wood. Oh, the firewood, the firewood. I wish we could grab more than this at a time, you know? All right, so that looks good. We got some fire. Water is solid. You know what? We're going to top off the water just to be safe here. Uh, I don't, I think we need to move forward a little bit. Here, let's go ahead and open this hatch up here. And then let's grab this guy and bring it down. Oh, it's just barely not going to reach, I don't think. Nope. Okay. We had to move it a hair just a little bit. Perfect. Okay, good. You know, I think that water's infinite. Like, you honestly could just leave it down the whole time. <laughs> but we're not going to. All right, I think we are good to go. Let's do it. I'm excited. <laughs> I was, I'm just so excited. All right, we're coming up on our switch here. We're going to have to stop this. Go ahead and kill it. And we'll switch this guy. And then, yeah, we're going to back in and grab those other three carts. All right, now we're just going to do some reverser action breakdown. All right, let's roll. You know, actually, we didn't even need the turntable because now that I, can, I just back in, grab these with the cart, and then when I go forward, we'll come back the right direction. <laughs> so I didn't even need the turntable. But we have it. We have it just in case we need it. Uh, ooh, we're going to actually have to adjust that switch down there, too. 
And actually, you know what? Whilst we're adjusting this switch, we're going to fix this piece of track right here. There, see? Much better. All right, and then we actually need to go... We need to go straight through. And you know what? Let's just go check this other one to make sure it's good before we go over here. No, it's not good. See, it's actually trying to send us to the turntable. So let's go ahead and flip this one that way. And yeah, okay, perfect. Ooh, this actually looks terrible right here too. Mm. Let's do that. Let's fix this up a little bit here. That looks a little bit better. Okay. That still doesn't look fantastic, but you know what? <laughs> it is what it is. All right, here we go. Look at that. Ooh, you know, it's always fun going through a switch. It just makes you feel like you're doing something, even though you're just basically continuing on. <laughs> All right, so we're going to head this way, grab these two. We're going to pull out here and then back in and grab that one. Actually, yeah, we're going to do that. There's a little bit of a grade right there. I just saw like we went downhill. It's kind of funny. All right, now, before we get too close, we have to throw a link and a pin in these things. So, add a link, pin it, and then we'll add a link in that one, add a link, and then pin that. Okay, so now we can back into them and link them all together. So, I'm actually going to, like, kind of push these two together. Let's go ahead and slow her down a little bit. We're gonna we're gonna do a little bump in here. Oh, you know what? I never took the brakes off. I don't I don't know if the brakes are set by default or what. Okay, so left mouse button, drag right, close. Left mouse button, drag left, open. Okay, so that one is open. Is that right? Yes. And that one's open as well. So these can free roll now. Okay, can I just push them? No. <laughs> All right, so let's lightly push that one. You know what? This one we probably actually should have the brake on. That way it doesn't roll off the back. Okay, so now this one. That one's pinned. That one's good. Let's go ahead and bring this guy back a little bit. So actually, these back ones, it's probably a good idea to leave the brake on until you're hooked up. That way you don't push them off the track. And we're good, I think. Beautiful. Okay. Oh my gosh, we actually have like a train now. Holy moly. Take the brake off. Now we need to pull forward and then back into that one. Actually, um, did I take the brake off of this one? I did. Okay, let's put that brake back on. All right, first test, three cars, regulator, brake, one, two, and three. Oh my gosh, we actually have a train. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm so excited. This is exciting. I love how much further down this is than these. Like that link right there is terrible. That is a horrible link connection, but you know, well, anyway, it is what it is, I guess. All right, so we're clear of this switch. We can grab our last cart. And that one's already set. Good, good. So I'm going to say that we're probably going to save up enough money, depending on how many cars we actually want of these type of cars, because coming back to pick up just one, I don't think it's going to be worth the, the time, honestly. Like, we definitely need to be coming back and picking up, like, a couple. Honestly, if I could get another one in here... That would drop another one. It would make this a little bit more worth it, but you know what? It is what it is. So reverser, brake. All right, so let's push through. We'll grab that one. Oh, this is exciting. Why are we not pushing? There we go. So we definitely have some weight behind us now. <laughs> the little dip. There's definitely a dip right there. It's so funny. 
So when we purchase a train, I wonder if it's the lo a locomotive, like a locomotive. I wonder if they pop, pop, pop in like right here too. Hmm. All right, we gotta be careful here. See, this is where another person would be extremely handy because it's really hard to tell where I am. Like, I don't know how close we are. Are we close enough to hook on? Oh, not even remotely close enough. <laughs> not, not even. All right, we should be good now. I think we might have. I think we might have bumped it a little bit. Oh, perfect. Oh my gosh, look at that. One, two, three, four. We have four actual cars on here. All right, how's everything looking? Um, water is good. Fuel is gone. Throw some more in there. Let's grab some f firewood while we're here, and we are gonna go take a trip over to our logging camp and we're gonna pick up an actual decent amount of logs here all right let's roll oh this is exciting um let's see do i need to adjust any switches i don't think so i think we're good oh you know what shoot we gotta take the brake off the the back one all right brake is off let me check all of them just to make sure that one's good. Watch, I've been pulling that one around. The brake's been on the entire time. Nope. Okay, we are good. Let's do it. Let's hit it. Oh, come on, Betsy. You can do it. Look at us go with our actual train. Oh, this is so amazing. So here's our first corner with a full, like, actual train. I don't think we're going too fast. I think we'll be okay. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. How's this switch look? The switch should be facing the correct direction. It is. See, now it'd be nice is if we could stop and fix this right now, but I think we're just going to keep chugging along. I think we're just going to go and hit the uh, hit the lumber depot. All right, we're going to boost 20% regulator. Now, again, I just don't know how fast I can actually go, and I don't really want to re-rail stuff right now, you know? I feel like we're cruising along pretty nicely. You know what? Let's go to 30%. Let's really open her up. We're never going to know, you know? We're never going to know unless we go faster. So we got a turn coming up here. I am going to drop it down a little bit. Even though I think we have like so much momentum built up, I don't think it's actually even going to matter. It's kind of a sharp turn right there. Ooh, I think we're hitting a grade now because we're slowing down. I can hear it's chugging. Back up to 30%. Well, 29 works. This whole shimmy, like, I still just don't really understand it. It feels a little excessive because, like, it wouldn't be doing that, you know? Unless, like, things were getting... Oh, shoot. That's a hard turn right there. Oh. Oh, that scared me a little bit. Yeah, the whole little shimmy, like, I feel like... I feel like this shimmy like this should indicate like, you know, going too fast or something like that. Whereas like, I think if you're, if you're pulling and you're like, okay, and everything's okay. I feel like it should be a relatively smooth ride. Okay, we're good. We can put some power back on it because we're about to go up a grade again. I feel like I definitely want to take out some more of these trees. These trees are really close. Ooh, we must be hitting the 3%. Let's go ahead and put some more power on it. <laughs> you know, what's crazy is that this little Betsy's pulling this so good. And we're only using like 30% regulator max right now. Now, when we have a full load and I don't know how many train cars we're going to end up having, it might, you know, actually start chugging. No pun intended, but <laughs> we'll see. Oh, shoot. Fuel. Gosh, I wish you could add fuel while you were going. Because, like, if I... If I I'm going to completely stop here. Oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah, we're we're pulling hard now. I think we might be able to make it. Cause we still got a good fire temperature. Water temperature is still 110. It's still boiling. We're still getting the boiler pressure. I think we'll be good. All right, here we go. We are here. Now I'm curious. Do I need to operate both of these? Like, do we have to have the train car super close or we have to like pull forward and, you know, like reload and stuff? I don't know. All right, let's see. Let's get up here. 100% brakes. All right. Uh, let's go ahead. Is there a firewood thing over here? We probably should put a firewood thing over here. Let's go ahead and load these. Get two of them going. Oh my gosh, look at that. Double crane action. So, yeah, we're going to need to pull ahead. Because it looks like this is doing perfectly that cart and this cart. So we'll need to pull up to get this cart with lined up here and then this cart lined up here. See, now I feel like I'm actually doing work. We're utilizing both cranes. Oh, this is good. And let's see, what do we say we're going to get money-wise? 120 because it's what, 60? Oh, no, it's 60, 60, 60, and 60, right? Unless the prices change. So it's going to be 120, 240. All right, so that guy's going. We got to go ahead and stoke the fire. Uh, how's water temperature? Okay, all that stuff's good. That one's good. All right, so we need to pull forward a little bit. Not super far. Again, another person would be nice. And that should be good. Let that go and then let this one. Oh my gosh, it's a full load of logs. We have an actual train. Wish there was a way to do more than one log at a time, you know? <laughs> I mean, I guess we're technically doing two at a time, but it's crazy too. Cause like you see it goes down to 99, but then like it fills back up almost immediately, which almost to me makes it sound like there is a faster way to do this. I just don't know how. All right. There's our final load. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It's a real train boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, it's a real train. I know it's only four cars, but like, you know, it feels, it feels, but compared to the one <laughs> so much better. Okay, so we got a lot of weight here. I'm gonna just kill the brake. I'm gonna put it on like 10%. And we're gonna start rolling because this is actually a downhill grade the whole time too, so. You know what, actually, let's stoke the fire. Because we're gonna have to stop and get out and like all that fun stuff. Brake, all right, let's go. Oh, it is a full load of logs. You know, actually I was wrong. This is a grade up right here and then it's a grade downhill. I think starting like right here somewhere. Oh my gosh, this track is awful. Look at that. <laughs> I need to fix it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just kill the regulator and I think we're going to start coasting cuz we're going to get we're going to get some serious speed going down this hill. And we do have a switch at the bottom of the hill that we have to adjust to. You know, it almost might be better of us to Oh, holy moly. It might be better of us to actually switch that switch when we're coming in after we pass it. Okay, hold on. Yeah, we got to slow down here. You know, I love how big this groundwork is. <laughs> like, it's huge. It looks like we're so high up, but it's like it is actually slowly downhill from where we left off. All right, let's kill the brake. All right, as soon as I can see the switch, we got to we got to crank brakes. Okay, there's the switch. All right, and to be safe, let's just go ahead and just hop out. Apply his brakes to the max. It slowed down pretty quick. And we are clear of the switch. Flip this, and it's we're homeward bound. All right, let's do it. It's so exciting. <laughs> 
Uh, let's go ahead and crank her to 30%. Definitely takes a lot more to get moving now. I remember 30% before, like, this thing would just, like, wouldn't take off. All right, here comes the moment of truth. We're going to just cruise around this corner at a decent speed, and we're not going to try to be scared. Because I think, I think we'll be okay. Everything looks good. All right, this switch looks good. Cruising along. Uh, ooh, that switch up there is not the right way. I can already see it's facing this way, and it actually needs to be facing the other way so we can go into the uh, into the freight yard here. Let's go ahead and kill that. And then let's get a little bit closer, and then we'll hit brakes. All right. Close enough. We need to go this way, please. All right, what happens if we hit 100%? Do we get wheel slippage? Oh, not really. I was actually kind of expecting the wheels to start sliding. <laughs> Now, these corners are a little bit tighter, so we are going to go slower going into here. It's actually not that tight of a corner. All right, look at that. We ran out of fuel just in time, too. Freight Depot. Okay. Kill the regulator. Coast up here a little further. And 100% break. Nailed it. All right. So we've got four cars to unload. We have $222. So let's go ahead and let's unload these. There's one. There's two. There's three. And there's four. Oh, wow. The train cart's actually... They kind of squish down a little bit when they're loaded. Interesting. Okay, cool, cool. And we are now at 462. So we're at 222. So we got $240. Perfect. Oh, that is fantastic. That is so much better than running $60 at a time. Now we're doing $240 at a time. That's kind of that's actually kind of awesome. Now, like I said, I don't know if I want to get more cars or not, because that was almost like that was almost enough for another car and if we got another car we would get enough for every time we went we could get one more car you know um but i don't know if this is what we're going to be hauling all the time i'm kind of thinking maybe we should maybe we should just use what we have of course if we get more cars then we can make more money because <laughs> we could easily get what another another car maybe two two more cars might actually be perfect yeah two more cars might actually be perfect i might actually run this a couple of times and then maybe two more cars that would give us six that would cover this and then that would be like a super full load and then i don't know i don't know what i want to do i'm not 100 percent sure but I know we need to get to the logging camp um, on the other side. We still need to get that cordwood. And then we need to get up to the sawmill, see what's going on there. Um, we could actually head down to the oil field, ironworks, refinery, and stuff like that. I don't know what we need, though. And I think, I think we probably use the oil field to the refinery to give, like, fuel or gas or something like that for maybe the ironworks. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if we can actually just sell... Uh, like raw oil. Like, I mean, if we could just sell the oil, we could just cruise down there and grab a whole bunch of oil, come back and freight sell that. I don't know actually what you can sell in here. I'm going to have to do some research, see what we can sell in the freight depot and see what's worth what. But um, yeah, if we could do oil fields, man, we could cruise on down there. That might be worth a little bit more. I don't know what to see, but that is going to end it. Thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, like, subscribe, all the fun things. This is Railroads Online. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. I, I'm thinking this is a an absolute blast. I'm thinking this is a good time. So um, I'm also thinking that maybe one of these days 
I'm gonna I'm gonna open up a server because like everything is hosted. I'm gonna open up a server for like Discord members, or whatever, and then we're gonna just get a bunch of people in here and just have some have some fun, some shenanigans, some railroad shenanigans. I think that could be fun. Um, yeah, but thank you so much for coming out. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one.